Yo, what is going on, guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, a.k.a. The Clockmaster. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend, man. I know I haven't posted any Flash or any type of superhero-related content for the weekend because I was on vacation, but now I am back. So, unfortunately, as you guys already know, there's no, there's no Flash episode tonight. Sadly, we won't be getting another Flash episode until the 25th of April. So, I decided that I just want to make a quick theory or prediction type video because i've been getting this question quite a lot about who is savitar my takes on it my thoughts because you've probably heard a lot of theories about it but you haven't heard too much really my thoughts i'm going to just share quickly about that all right guys don't forget if you are new to this channel to hit that subscribe button and like for more flash content flash reactions flash predictions whatever they are subscribe for the more content such as that great so before we get into that i want to explain sort of savitar origin it's sort of his origin story what we know of him in the comic book so before i get into the predictions or common theories on who savitar may be so for those of you guys who do not know savitar first appeared in the flash volume 2 issue 108 in 1995 while not much is known about the self-proclaimed god of speed his comic origin story is quite similar to how most speedsters acquire their abilities before acquiring his speed, Savitar was a Cold War pilot from an unnamed third world nation. And while testing a supersonic fighter jet, Savitar was struck by lightning at top speed and landed into enemy territory. By his surprise, Savitar was able to defeat his enemies moving at extreme speeds. And fascinated by his new abilities, he named himself after the Hindu god of motion, Savitar. Now that we know a little bit of Savitar's comic book history, let's get into our candidates or some of the leading theories or people who may be Savitar. And keep in mind, as we saw in the Flash promo last week, we see Killer Frost. Unfortunately, Killer Frost now says to Barry, you will be so surprised. So we don't know if she's relating that to actually the Flash or who Savitar or if it's just he's going to be surprised about something else. So the first theory or candidate you guys probably already heard of this is HR. You guys probably already heard of the theory in the past couple of weeks about HR being Savitar. Now, the main reason why anyone would even consider HR as a possibility is the fact that both him and Savitar refers to Wally West as Wallace. Now, while most people deem that option as completely unoriginal by the story writers, it still would make a whole lot of sense, especially since HR is really obsessed with turning Wally on how to get his speed. And his exact role in the team is still unspecified. However, the hint of HR using the word Wallace could all just be used as a way to distract the audience about his true identity, Savitar's true identity. Because I think the story writers may just throw that in there just to try to distract us to make us think HR really is Savitar, but he's just not. So the next theory after that, you guys also probably heard this a lot, is Wally West being Savitar. Now, a lot of you guys probably already heard this so many times, but Wally West being Savitar. And now for me, this is my personal reasons and a lot, it, it kind of matches up with a lot of other people's ideas. But to me, the way how Savitar has malice towards Barry and doesn't show any type of anger or any type of hate towards Joe is a great indication that that could be Wally. For instance, you know, Wally has always been, has this underlying tone of jealousy for Barry. You know, says he has everything, he doesn't deserve it, blah, 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 blah. He, he's had those conversations before and he's always been rebellious in sort of a sense. He's been rebellious even before he had his speed. So to me, all of that makes a lot of sense. Now, could it be Wally West? There's also, it's a high percentage that it cannot be Wally West, but based on some of those things, how he treats Joe, how he talks to Barry, how he talks to the rest of the cast members, is to me is definitely a big hint of Wally West being Savitar. Now, you may have come across this theory as well, and this to me is something I've been thinking a lot about in the past couple of weeks. Savitar could literally be Barry himself. Now, as we all remembered how awesome it was to see the future Flash in last week's episode 19 promo, aside from Barry's weird here, it was really cool, but how could this mean that Barry is Savitar if we're seeing a different form of future Flash there? Well, my theory kind of goes back to the comics. 
The future Flash from the comics is somewhat different than the future Flash of the CW as we've seen in the episode 19 promo. This comic version of the future Flash is so taking up with emotion after the loss of Wally West. Keep in mind Iris is still alive but she's frail and old. This future Flash blames himself for everything that has happened and trying to find a way to fix his past and reshape his future, Future Flash kind of goes on a killing spree and kills his villains to obtain more speed. At this point in Barry's life, it's 20 years set from the present Barry at that time in the comic books. Barry's at the fastest he has ever been in his life and since he has been able to achieve that, he's able to go back in time and soon face all his previous foes, Reverse Flash and then he runs into the present Barry Allen. Future Flash then tries to kill Barry Allen of the present and tries to do something to reshape his past and future. Now, in my opinion, this does make some type of sense and I can see how the creators will try to have inspiration from the comics and the original source material to relate to Savitar being Barry Allen. And besides, the future Flash suit kind of looks a lot like Savitar's. Now guys, this can be sort of a last kind of prediction here, but just keep in mind that the show is very notorious for having the villain in plain sight in front of us at all times. So there's also a chance that we may have already seen who Savitar's his true identity is already. Guys, keep in mind that there is a huge possibility of Savitar not being any one of the members of the Flash team. Since Savitar's comic book origin is somewhat unspecified, like I said, as far as his name, as to who he really is, his origin story, how he grew up, it literally can be anyone. It can be someone we have never seen before. It can be someone or a reference to maybe another speedster, for instance, like Max Mercury for the, from the comic books. It could be Johnny Quick from the comic books. It could be anyone. It could be literally be anyone. So just keep in mind, keep an open mind that it may not even be anyone from the original Flash team. All right, guys, so that kind of wraps up my thoughts and predictions as to who Savitar is so far right now after the conclusion of episode 18. My, keep in mind, my theories and my predictions can be subject to change as time goes on. And as we get closer to unwinding and closer to closing off this season of The Flash, maybe they may have a reveal of Savitar towards either the, the finale episode or the second to last episode of the season. If the season ends off in a very dark, melancholy mode, that'll definitely be new for something. That'll definitely leave a lot of people upset. It'll leave me upset personally, but I don't think they would do that. It would be a crazy cliffhanger if they left us off with not knowing either not knowing who Savitar is, finding out who he is, and then ending the season there, and us having to wait till season four to kind of figure out what's going to happen so i'm looking forward to when the flash returns to see what's going on guys if you want to see more of my predictions for the next episode of the flash leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see me make a separate video on my predictions of that episode and the turn of events in that all right guys like i said if you are new to subscribe if you enjoyed this video hit that like button leave your comments down below man do you believe any of these theories that I've listed here, some of them you've already heard before, some of them you may or may not have heard as well. So let me know in the comment section down below, man. That's where the best conversations happen is in the comment section down below, man. Leave your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Clockmaster, out.